Hey everyone, it's Deb here from Deb's Greenhouse and we are going to talk about houseplant care. And this is my strawberry cream syngonium. They're also called arrow plant or arrow, arrowhead plants. And I've got two of them. Um, this color is supposed to be one of the more rare types. And I know when I saw it, I fell in love with it and I did, I did buy two of them in different locations. And we're going to just do some cleaning on these. Give them a wipe and um, I'm actually going to repot them. So I bought these in a four inch pot and I find that they need watering more than once a week, otherwise they're drying out. So if you have to water a plant more than once a week, um, it's time to pot it into a bigger, a bigger pot. So there's not much on here that needs cleaning, just a few dry pieces on the bottom. And yeah, they're actually just pulling out. I do have some on the other one that need to come off. So yeah, not much here. This one looks pretty good. There is one damaged leaf I'm going to remove. Um, it's Even though it's kind of the same color, it is dry and crispy. So that one's coming out. Um, before I repot it though, I am going to leach it. So we talked about leaching before. Um, leaching means flushing water through the soil and it helps release excess salt buildup. So salts can build up in your pots over time and we just want to flush those out. Um, a whole bunch of people have said, what if your plant um, is just planted directly into a ceramic pot that has no holes and you can't, you can't leach it because there's nowhere for it to drain. Um, I have a couple of pot, uh, plants that are potted directly in the ceramic and they're not doing as good as all of the other ones that are in a pot with drain holes. So I suggest, um, repotting them, putting them in a plastic insert that has drain holes and then put it back in your ceramic. So I'm just going to run this, uh, run water through this and then I'm going to trim the other one. Okay, so I wanna keep working while these um, continue to drain out. So I'm just putting them on the tray. Now we are going to inspect for pests haven't seen any but you never know you just want to turn your leaf to the underside and take a really good look these look fantastic I am not seeing any bugs no bugs no no bite marks nothing um, you also want to check the crevices of your plants where the the branch comes off of the stem because sometimes there could be pests hiding in there as well. These look great. I don't need to do anything. I am going to um, use some plant shine though. So we've got this plant shine in and I have pre-dampened this little cleaning cloth and I'm just going to put some of this plant shine on it. Just a couple dropper folds. And this works to clean the plants as well as give them a bit of an extra shine. So yeah, a couple dropper folds on there. There you go, plant shine. And just a gentle wipe. We want to get any dust off of the leaves. This will help our plant photosynthesize better. So these plants, the arrowhead plants, they really like um, to be in uh, indirect light. So we don't want light directly touching the leaf, but they can um, also tolerate lower light levels. So I've got both of these on shelves where they do not get bright light. And they, for the most part, they've been doing pretty good. So there's not too many leaves there, pretty easy to wipe those off. And they will have a nice shine to them um, as they dry, which is nice. It just makes them look fresh and they still can photosynthesize even though light doesn't go directly on them. So because I have two of them, um, I'm only going to put one into this pot that I'm upgrading, but this one I am going, this one's stuck now. This one I'm going to take a cutting. So I'm going to take a cutting off of it right here. We want to make sure we have a V on it, that way we have a stem and a branch so that it will root in. So I'll show you. I'm gonna get down really low. Pull that off. So you can see I've got a piece of the main branch and some stems coming off. And I've got a little 
spot here. So when we take a cutting, we wanna stick it in, making sure that the stem doesn't touch the bottom of the glass. If it does, it will rot. So keep, make sure it's suspended up in the air. You might have to use a piece of wire or twist tie to keep it up there. This will just go on my counter with all the rest. And they root pretty well. Okay, so I just wanna speed this up, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a squeeze. Get any excess soil out of there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to pot it now into our planter. I'll move that out of the way. And so what I've done is I just have a variety of pots like kind of left over from other things that have been potted up. And this pot was actually too short. So I put a whole bunch of rocks on the bottom so that it would be the right height there that I, that I wanted when it was all done. So I'm just gonna set this aside and put some soil in here. I've just got some potting soil. I brought in from the greenhouse yesterday in the tub. And this soil here is just a regular grower mix. We are gonna have some baked up for you. Um, it was really dry because it was an open bag. So I moistened it last night. I wet it all down and munched it up so that it would have like a nice moisture content. So pretty simple. We're just going to knock this out of there. The roots look good. You don't need to munch it or anything. And now we just want to have it fairly level with the top of that pot. So I'm just going to put a little more soil underneath and fill in the gaps. This is a perfect size. We don't want to go too big when we transplant our house plants. We only want to go up an inch or two in width of pot. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's nice and level there to the top of the pot and I'm just using a recycled pot from the greenhouse. If you um, have a ceramic that you can't find a pot for, you can always bring it to the greenhouse uh, make an appointment this time of year and we will find something that will fit it properly for you. So now we're going to use a foliar spray. This is a bottle I mixed up the other day and I just filled this spray bottle with water and added two tablespoons of our nature source plant food. That's this here. And we're restocking that all this week. So later this week we'll have all of these um, tools available for you. Just going to give the leaves a gentle spray. And this is one of the ways that your plant can absorb fer fertilizer. It's just giving it like a super vitamin boost. Won't burn them, won't hurt them. They'll get richer in color and just look better. I find that in February, my plants always look kind of tired and worn out. And I, by doing this in January, we're kind of preventing um, some problems we could have down the road. So now I'm just going to plop this right in here. If you wanted to, you could top this off with a decorative rock or moss. Um, if you've got kittens like we do, um, I definitely don't want them digging in the soil. So I'm either gonna put it in a spot they can't reach it or I will top that off with rocks later. So the last thing we have to do uh, for this, and then I'll do the other pot afterwards, is to actually water in a fertilizer. So I've got this filled with water. And for this tiny little pot, I'm just putting in a capful. Well, I'm trying to. I spilled it down the side of the pot. Just give this a gentle stir and water it in. So this Syngonium, it is supposedly a rare color, but I find that rare plants are easier to find now, um, which is fantastic, but I just love the color. Mostly you would see them in um, a white and green shades, but they're very easy to grow. Um, if Again though, if your house plants are drying out and you have to water them twice a week or more, they need to go in a bigger pot. So that's your indication of when do I transplant my plants if you have to water twice a week. So once a week is kind of the maximum that you want to be watering them and is acceptable. Some things are like every two weeks, but if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask. If you want to leach all your plants, but you don't have drain holes, 
we've got to pop them into um, just a plastic pot with drains, with drain holes, and then put them in the decorative pot. So these ceramic pots with no holes, they're just decoration. It's convenient because you don't get water spilling on your counter or your floors or your cupboards in your house. But um, we definitely, you can't leach it if you don't have holes. So that's kind of our show for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to do the other one afterwards. Thanks guys, bye for now.